Hi, Tenko Tower 13 here. Here is making a random vid on my computer here. I'm actually playing in a new video card in my System Max XYX here. And, I don't know, I just feel like making a video about it. And I do have a video on this if you feel like watching it. So, uh, it should be like three videos ago or something from March in my uh, on my channel. So, if you feel interested in watching that, go ahead. Uh, the video card I'm playing in here is... The NVIDIA GeForce GT 520, uh, basically, it's just a way to uh, dual monitor uh, my computer here. And uh, also, it does have mini HDMI, so I could possibly hook this up to my uh, TV. And I guess I, uh, I pre-opened it a little bit, because I want to know what was inside it. But it's just basically the card, and uh, yeah, you get to watch me open this up with one hand. Uh, there. Yeah, just basically the card and a, a CD with its drivers. Uh, try to carefully open this up without uh, without hurting it, because this is a uh, this is sensitive stuff here. You don't want to uh, just f around with. So here's the card itself. It's a dual DVI with a mini HDMI port here. Uh, it also has its own uh, uh, fan here for getting rid of heat. But uh, just basic card, 2 gig graphic card. But anyway, let's get started with uh, installing this card here. Uh, just some safety precautions before you start. Make sure your computer is unplugged from the wall, uh, just in case so, uh, like a power surge or anything. And uh, make sure all the cords are taken out, all USBs and uh, uh, just all, all cables are just out of there. Alright, so right here I have my computer on its side. So what we first have to do is we have to find the video card, which is the original one, which is right here. And you have to basically make sure everything, like get everything out of the way and unscrew it here, like there. And just basically pull it out and stick in the new one. Now here's my old card that I just pulled out, and uh, it's easy to take out, just as I said, unscrew that screw there, and you can reuse it to put the new card on as well, and also right down there, underneath that, that logo there for Intel, that's what the card uh, connects to, and you just have to hit that, pull that switch down, and then just pull the card out, so all I have to do now is just put the new card in. Uh, by reversing the process of taking this out and we should have a new card to work with. Just as a reminder because I almost forgot always keep your new your old card sorry because you you, know, you never know if uh, your old, your new card will work or not so just in case just keep this on hand just in case and also this is a very good uh, card it's actually another GeForce but it's lower on a dedicated uh, memory because this here is 512 this one that I'm playing in is about 2 gigs, so always handy to keep this around. Alright, so I have the new card in, screwed in with the old, with the old screw, and I placed it into the uh, port there. And also as a reminder, there's a switch down there that you have to tie in this thing in, or this card in, sorry. So make sure you flip that, or else uh, the connection won't be uh, fully in, and you might see some, some weird stuff on your screen. And on the back here, as you can see, looks like two DVIs and an HDMI, but unfortunately how they made it, it's the wording's upside down, but I really don't think it matters, so I really don't care. Alright, so I have my card in, and I have power going to it, so now let's see if this baby uh, actually works. As you can see, I'm getting a signal from the monitor here, so obviously uh, this started working now, so I'm happy, but it's not over yet because I have to install the drivers that came with this uh, card, so, but so far it's it's going very well. So as you can see here, and I know the angle's bad, I'm sorry for that, but that's all I can do for now, uh, the screen ratio is very off. Uh, that's what happens when you just put a card in and not put in the installation drivers. So I'm going to put in my drivers right now. 
I actually have them downloaded here. All right, so it's done installing the driver, so now all we have to do is just restart it, and hopefully this will all work out. All right, as you can see, now everything's complete. Uh, the resolution look, appears to be normal now. Hopefully you like this video and ignore the stuttering and stuff that I made. And uh, if you want to, you can subscribe. I will, or I hopefully will make more of these kind of videos like how-tos and stuff. Uh, but it's all based on viewers. So, <clears throat> sorry, if you are interested, uh, please subscribe. And uh, it only helps me in the long haul. Uh, thank you.